Hello yogis, it's Rosalie here and briefly that was Millie and welcome to this yoga series for complete beginners. Today we're looking at one of my favorite poses and this is triangle pose or trikonasana you might hear it called as well. This is such a nice opener for the hips and it really stretches the back of your legs but at the same time it strengthens the front. It's a, just a really great overall pose to really start to build your strength and your flexibility. So we're going to get started right away in a standing position. So we're going to take a really nice big step back with one foot. Now have a look at that back foot. You want the toes to be pointed towards the side of the mat and the front toes are pointed towards the front of the mat. So it's the same alignment as a warrior two. The heel of the front foot is aligned to the arch of the back foot. But the stance isn't as wide. This is about three to four feet. It really depends. You can make it longer or shorter. That really depends on you. You want to make sure your hips are open. They're facing towards the side of the mat and really ground into your feet and engage your legs. So remembering to have that kneecap lifting up. So from here, we're going to go ahead and reach the arms straight out so that they're parallel to the mat. We're going to keep both legs straight as you really push into the outer edge of the feet. You start to reach your front arm forward. Now, when you can't go any further, that's when you're going to hinge from the hips and just bring that bottom hand to rest on the shin. Eventually, you can have it on the floor or on a yoga block, but try to really keep that openness through the chest. So start to spiral the chest up towards the sky and those top fingers are really reaching up towards the sky. You can have the fingers wide, so spread, or you can have the fingers together. That's how you would practice in an Ashtanga class. So there's a straight line of energy from the fingertips at the top all the way to the fingertips at the bottom. Now, if it feels okay for your neck, start to turn your gaze to look up towards the sky. So really start to push a little bit more into the outside edge of the back foot. Tummy in. Can you feel that stretch about right here through your waist? Spiraling the chest up, take one more breath. If it doesn't feel okay for your neck, just look down towards the mat. Good. Make sure you're not dumping your weight into that bottom hand, a good way to check. Can you float that top arm out? Let's all do this for one more breath. And as you inhale, come all the way back up. Great. So how is that trikonasana or triangle pose for you? There are a few things to avoid in this pose. And the first is that you start to bend that front knee. Make sure that you keep both legs straight throughout this practice. So don't start to bend your knee thinking that you're going to reach your hand down towards the floor. You can build up to this using a yoga block, building up your strength and your flexibility, and then you can do this. Keep both legs straight and the hand can rest wherever it can on that front leg. The second thing I see sometimes is that the chest isn't open. So the chest starts to close down towards the mat. Make sure you have a really nice wide chest throughout the pose. And a good way to do this is tip number three is that you have a long line of energy from the fingertips at the top to the fingertips at the bottom. So I sometimes see that top arm just kind of being limp. It doesn't have any energy to it at all. So really stretch the fingertips at the top. Well, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you take all of what we did and practice it on the other side. And if you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I know you want to and hit the little bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next class. Snap a picture of yourself and post it on Instagram and tag me at Rosie Yogi so I can see how you did in your pose.